Okay, a little maintenance thing on the Alpha Giulietta. Now this is the petrol. They do have, you see my other video I've done on changing, it's a little mesh screen on the multi-air filter, which is down on the side here by the timing belt. Uh, there is another mesh fil filter bolt and it is here. It is a banjo bolt on top of the filter. Now I've disconnected a few things here already so we can show you. Easy enough to take apart. So you got some torque screws, there's one, two, three, four, and they are a T40 Torx. All right, and then you got two 10 mil nuts on the front. Once you do that, you can just remove the heat shield. Remember, don't do this when the car is hot, it'll burn your hands. Uh, it takes a little wiggling, but you can get that off. Get your heat shield, put it aside. And this is the bolt in question. So this is the oil feed line. And this here is a 17 mil bolt. Now, I said I've already disconnected. It wasn't hard to do. Um, be ready with some rags. We want to have a look because inside, inside, where is we inside here? I don't even see that. Is all gunked up. So there is actually a screen in there to filter for some bloody reason. Um, reduces the oil flow to the turbo. You don't want that to block up if you cook because that will block oil to your turbo and you'll cook your turbo. So I'm going to take that now. Um, you can get replacement ones from Alpha. I haven't been able to. I can't get one from Italy at the moment, but get some brake cleaner and I'm going to hose that out with the brake cleaner and get all that gunk out. We'll film and see what comes out of there. Okay, filming. Okay, so you can see inside the gunk, there's a little hole there. That's the kind of bleed hole. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a dose in here. See if I can get in there. So this is pretty clean oil, by the way. Uh, so not like I'm really due for an oil change. I did one not too long ago. But look at the stuff coming out. I'm going to fill that up inside. Look at all that stuff coming out. And that's still, I can still see all the gunk inside. So let's try to fill that up. Look at that. Lots coming out now. I think I might just get a little plastic container and soak this. Look, big pieces coming out. So yeah, you don't want that in your turbo. I mean, I guess it's screened up. Um, my car was kind of, previous owner didn't do that much maintenance on it. Big bits. Look at that. That's not good. Okay, keep it coming. All right, well, I'm gonna soak this. I'm gonna get a little container, a little dish, and we'll soak it. Okay, so I've had that swishing around for a bit. You can see how much stuff has come out. That's just, that was clear. Uh, and I got a toothpick here. I'm just going to uh, very lightly, because I said there's this some kind of filtration screen in there. Very lightly just kind of go around the tip and try to dislodge any of this baked in old oil particles. Then we'll just tip that out and we'll, we'll collect that so we can see how much dirt is gone and we'll get some fret clean brake cleaner here. Wow, you see just from doing that, all the pieces that have come out now again, there's so many just chunks of old burnt up oil in there. So uh, yeah, this is uh, something, if you have this motor, you should be doing. Okay. So this is what I've taken out of here. Now that's not, of course, showing the actual little, like the good oil that's dissolved that's all the gunk that was stuck inside this filter bolt so if you have this motor i think about the dodge darts have that as well um a couple of the alfa romeos um you uh yeah you want to clean this or just buy yourself a new bolt because i went through you know a quarter of a can of brake cleaner to do that uh, but look at the pieces there's just chunks that this right this was pretty much brand new when i did this and it's got big pieces stuck in there so recommended 
service. I do this, uh, I think this should be done probably every other oil change if you can.